Hey, how's everyone doing? This is G World Seven Space D at it again, and I want to show you this article from the internet. And this is what it talks is talking about that NFL stadiums. Let me get this article going down here. That NFL stadiums are not doing that well. Well, mainly the Rams and the 49ers who played their home games last week. Um, they were half empty. Look, stadium is half empty for Colts Rams regular season opener in L.A. And it goes on to talk about it. Well, it actually has a picture, but it goes on to talk about it. There wasn't that many fans there. And look at the number of fans that are at the game. There's half empty at the L.A. Coliseum. Now, I always have told people in the past that L.A. already has a professional team. It's the USC Trojans. All right. That's their professional team. And the whole Colin Kaepernick situation, personally, I think, and the call for the boycott. Basically, I think it's got a lot of people to boycott the league over the issue of police brutality. Uh, the San Francisco football game was half empty, too. In fact, that was really bad. But here's the picture of the Rams. This is the Rams uh, playing the, oh, shoot, who did the Rams play? Rams play, I believe, the Colts. But also, um, what was the game? The Chargers have been filling out their stadium, or excuse me, the, the Chargers have been selling out their tickets, and then and it's believed that the stadium is only twenty seven, only seats twenty seven thousand, and they haven't even sold all those out yet. So, and you just and I just laugh about that because the NFL is ignoring its black fans, acting like they don't have black fans. That the only fan base are conservative whites, which is very ignorant. is a very it's a mood that's going to destroy the league down the line. When your league is seventy percent black, you should take the time to address black issues or look at black issues. You talk about pink, which you talk, which you're basically dealing with white women. You also talk about National Hispanic Month, when you're mainly dealing with non-black Latinos. You don't you ignore. The people who basically fuel your product and you don't talk about their issues to me is really genocidal and ignorant. You don't you should if your player base is 70 percent black, which the NFL is possibly more than that, then you should try to cater not only to the players who play in the league, but the fan base that those players come from. The NFL, to me, is continuing to make these ignorant mistakes, dumb mistakes, and you see it even with their halftime shows. They went through the whole British so-called invasion, but you had the Rolling Stones there. Why? How come you haven't had Parliament there? You know, or you couldn't have you could have had Earth, Wind, Fire there, but you had Paul McCartney, the Beatles. I believe they even had the Who, but you couldn't have American black bands. Perform at halftime. So the NFL historically has been very racist. And by the way, they had the uh, Rolling Stones perform in Detroit, which is very insulting. They should have had uh, the Temptations or some black artist, which Motown, Detroit is known for Motown, not the Rolling Stones. But knowing the NFL, who they are, and what they have been, they will continue to be very negative or just basically ignore their black fan base. Now, the crowd, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using my phone, not my camera. Now, this is the San Francisco game. Damn. There's really no one out there. Man, look at that. That is terrible. No one's really at the San Francisco game. This is San Francisco. No, this is L.A. My bad. This is L.A. But the San Francisco one was even worse. There weren't that many people to show up for this game. Look at the sparse crowd. Now, this is the at the USC Coliseum. Now, the day before, the Trojans had played Stanford. It was jam-packed. But uh, look at the Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams play. And look at this. It's very sparse. There's no one there. So the boycott is going strong, I believe. But the media not going to tell you this. The media going to downplay it, say it is about the Harvey, Hurricane Harvey, or... Um, Irma or Jose when, you know, most of that fan base in the South really don't care about professional football like that. I mean, they watch it, but they really don't care. It's more like 
a strong base of high school football in the South. But, you know, they, they the Saints had their fans, the, the Falcons had their fans, as well as the Dolphins. I, I don't, their fans are very sparse. But the, obviously Houston had their fans, but, in Dallas. But the South is known for high school football and producing the best of high school football. In fact, probably a large percent of your NFL players come from that Southern Belt area from um, Arkansas, Texas, all the way to, I'll say, to Maryland. That's where the most of your base of your players, you could you could go to Pennsylvania, but I'm going to say Maryland, where, that, where you get all those great athletes with their speed, and you see it in college. Um, that's why one reason the Big Ten added Maryland Rutgers, because they wanted not only Maryland to get them excellent players out of the Maryland-Delaware area, but they wanted to get into Northern Virginia, at least in Northern Virginia. And I know they were trying to get Virginia and North Carolina. It might have been smart if they had to try to get um, acquired Virginia T. 